We are less than 24 hours out from the 2023 Buffalo Auto Show. You're looking live inside the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center, where auto show organizers have put electric vehicles front and center inside the new energy zone. And tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at the evolution of electric vehicles. Sky-high prices coming down now and government incentives are going up. But could these cars really be the future for Western New York families? Well, that's the plan. According to New York State, the Power Authority says it's eyeing 2035 as the cutoff for gas-powered cars sold in New York. This fits into the state's larger plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions over the next several decades. The popularity of electric vehicles is accelerating. Sales jumped 70% through the first nine months of 2022 compared to the year before. While some gas-powered cars still retail for less, the price of EVs is becoming more affordable. A Nissan LEAF will run you roughly $27,000, and that's before state and federal incentives kick in. So, is an electric vehicle the right option for you? 7 News reporter Taylor Epps has put together an in-depth list of the pros and cons. He joins us live from the Auto Show's Energy Zone tonight. Taylor. Oh, Jeff and Leah, that's right. We've been looking into this and really trying to dig up those answers for you. Here we are in the energy zone. Every single car you see in here is either hybrid or electric. We're talking Nissans, you've got Toyotas, Jeeps, there's even an e-transit Ford back there as a BMWs, anything you can ask for. This is a huge focus for not only the Buffalo Auto Show, but also for the state. So New York Power Authority is also here to answer any questions you might have, because whether it's now or the next 10 years, they want you to make the switch. One thing you can't it looks like a truck, but it drives like a jet. The Ford Lightning is 100% electric, and so is this BMW iX, this Jeep Wrangler, and this e-transit van. You know, there's been more, more change, more evolution, uh, more revolution uh, than at any time since, uh, since, since the car industry started. Alan Schur is the regional manager for Ford. He says we're not far from the days where there are more electric cars on the road than gas. But again, right, electric's not ideal for absolutely every use and every uh, customer. So, so the key is going to be choice. So how do you know if you're the right person to make the switch? Let's drive you through the pros and cons. I think the consciousness about the environment is the number one uh, area. You know, they think it'll offer some utility of savings. And you start saving as soon as you buy the car. The state and federal government will offer you cash incentives that could allow you to save as much as $9,000. Another pro, you can save by avoiding the pump. In, in western New York, our, our electric rates are, uh, are are pretty good, so you can fill up your electric vehicle for much less than you can fill up your, uh, your, your, your conventional gas engine. But John Markowitz from the New York Power Authority says this could vary. If you're making long drives and using fast chargers, it would cost you more. But home charging is about half the price of filling up with gas. Now let's get into the cons. An electric car will likely cost you more at the dealership, but I'm told that premium is starting to come down. And if you're willing to pay a little more, you also have to be willing to wait a little more. The, the demand is still pretty, uh, pretty strong. Um, we had 200,000 reservations. Uh, you know, coming out of the gates. I checked and it's the same for some electric Nissans, Toyotas and Chryslers. Another big issue for people? Uh, range anxiety. They're very concerned with uh, uh, with the range uh, of, of EVs. According to the U.S. Department of Energy Efficiency, the average range is about 240 miles with a full battery. And when you charge it depends on who you are. If you can charge at home, you'll wake up ready to go for your commute. But if that commute is long or your family loves road trips, you'll need to get familiar with this map of dozens of charging stations statewide. No matter what, Markowitz says this is the direction we're all going. It'll just become the normal choice. And, and but, you know, by 2035, all the cars being sold in the state will be electric. So in the next couple of years, you're going to see a lot more of these chargers all around New York State. In the southern tier, just yesterday, the state put in a new charging station. And as of today, you can now charge your car at the Niagara Falls Fashion Outlets. But this is really just the beginning here, something we're going to be continue going in depth on as things continue. Now, the Buffalo Auto Show gets started tomorrow at 1 o'clock and runs through Sunday. So you can come down here and ask any more questions if you do have any. And Jeff and Leah, I am looking at a Lamborghini over there. I can put in a good word if you guys are interested. Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, we, oh, are, good. we are. We are interested. <laughs> you are? We are? Yes. Yes. I guess he's buying. Taylor, put my name down on that list. Electric wow. vehicles as well, right? Mm.